Hey, I'm doing the intro. You are. Just like we just talked about on the That's air. Right. Hey. <laughs> All right. So, you know, it's not every day that an animal story comes across my desk here uh, that shocks me <laughs> and gives me the heebie-jeebies and okay. Okay. give me okay. nightmares last night. Okay. One of the coolest, and I, I love eels, right? They're super cool. They're super, like, cryptic, sneaky, scary. I, I, I just think eels are such a cool animal. I remember when you were in New Zealand, you were constantly texting, texting me pictures of eels. Like, every creek you'd go on a hike by, you'd take a picture of an eel and text it to me. I'd be like, thanks, Patrick. I, <laughs> cool I did, eel. I did something I shouldn't have done. They had some habituated eels at a coffee shop that uh -huh. lived in the creek. Yeah. And uh, I hand-fed this one eel like probably 60 pieces of chicken <laughs> it happens it was so cool man um, all right so have you heard of the forest have you heard of the amazonian volta eel uh i have from reading the recent story that we're going to talk okay. about um but i had not before that dude all right so get so you, if you've read the story get into it let's hear what the broologist has to say about this no, I mean, I th it's incredible. W.T. Willie's got a picture up. So the Volta eel, it's a species of knife fish. Like many of the eels in the northern Amazon in Brazil and those knife fish species, it's an electric eel, right? So that's why it shocks you, I presume, Patrick? No. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, so um, but, but Patrick, I don't want to step on your feet. What was so interesting okay. about the announcement? Well, so, they talk, so it talks about... It has the strongest electric shock of any animal in the world, right? Up to 860, 860 volts. volts. Yeah. What's, which, a, what's a common household? 120? Your, your dryer runs on two, 220, 240. I can't remember. Your dryer. 240. And so that's, what, that's what takes the most energy in your house. Right. It's uh, crazy. Yeah. I mean, your, your so, iPhone, your standard plug, I believe, is 120, right? Right. Yeah. Correct. So this is almost eight times that. Right. And you people, plenty of people die from, you know, sticking their fingers in a plug and, and getting right. zapped doing <laughs> electricity work. So this is eight times that. Yeah. So it says, as, uh, you know, if, if a child touched this and got shocked, it would drop dead almost immediately. Mm -hmm. um, wow. So that's how strong the, the charge is. The part that gave me the nightmare <laughs> is they have just recently found that in a remote part of northern Brazil... These eels are hunting in packs of a hundred. Right. Oh my god. That's eight thousand volts coming at a school of fish. So yeah, so the way that, that electric eels work, right, is they, they swim along, they're like two meters long, they're lethargic, they lay in these deep waters during much of the day. Um and at dusk and dawn they kind of move around and they'll find some small fish, they'll find a school of fish, they'll let out a little pulse of electricity, right? Sure. <laughs> And the fish just kind of go, Ugh, like they're all stunned. You know, sometimes they die. Sometimes they're just completely like brains are scrambled. And yeah. the, the knife fish will just swim around and kind of, you know, gobble them up and go back wow. to laying on the bottom being being lethargic. So that's what we know about electric eel behavior, right? They, they're, right. they're lazy. They kind of come out. They cruise around. They find a school of fish. It's like, Zzz, and then they, they eat up and they go back to, to laying. But now what these researchers in northern Brazil, what got published in Ecology and Evolution is that uh, there was a documentation of a hundred of them all coming together and finding this big school of fish in a single pool mm -hmm. and simultaneously being like, zzz, zzz, like turning on the fucking electricity. So imagine 8,000, sorry, no, that would be 8,600. No, eight, wait, what, how many do we say? 100. 860 volts times 100. So that's 86,000 volts of electricity zapping through this pool just frying these fish and then them just going like feeding frenzy on this on this uh pool of fish so yeah it's it's absolutely well, insane and here's the part that's yeah. oh, is this probably picture? the most disturbing part right you go swimming in the ocean you know what you're getting into <laughs> right you know that there could be sharks there could be you know a little lobster is going to pinch your toe you're getting into yep. some shit oh yeah when you oh, jump yeah. off the boat into a lake <laughs> <laughs> You're not expecting that a hundred eels are going to send out eighty six thousand volts so that they can right. eat you, dude. I'm, it's crazy. It's a fucking it's, lake. It's it, crazy. Yeah, it is. It is quite a scene to imagine in the mind, thinking about these <laughs> things literally just riling, like what, just shocking all these fish. This 
it, like you're just riling around eating the fish. Like, well, dude, bananas. it says that they, the researchers observed they basically created a big circle and they herded them in a cooperative mm-hmm. fashion. Wow. And then when they That's... would release the electricity, all the fish would jump out of the water to get Try away to from the current. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, and then all at the same time, the eels would come to the surface and just attack when they'd hit just the water. Nuts. Dude, it's amazing. They, so when I was that. When I was in um, the Ecuadorian Amazon, God, this was a hot minute ago, uh, at night we would, we would hunt fish with spears, right? We'd have our headlamps and we'd just have basically like gigging sticks, like a, like a seven, eight foot long spear with a three prong on the end. And you'd see the fish sleeping in the shallow water of the flooded rainforest and you just, you just kind of kebab them. You know, you get like four or five right after dark and then you'd go cook it up over the fire and that would be dinner. And we did this for like two weeks of, uh, of this trip that I did back then living in the Amazon. And I remember um, I was with my buddy Mike and uh, we had this like this Amazonian guy named Fausto with us and Mike's literally just about to like stab his spear down and 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 uh, this guy Fausto's like no 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 and we're like whoa whoa like that's the first time we've ever heard him yell like in two weeks and we look and Mike's got this massive looking fish by his feet that he's about to stab and he's like you know he's like paused an inch and a half above it and Fausto's like you know it was like a really bad language barrier and I was like oh that's an electric eel and he was like yeah no 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 like don't stab it whatever you do and we're all standing in like. Uh, ankle deep water hunting these fish right that's how we get mm-hmm. dinner every night and he just like of everything you know we caught 20 foot anacondas we were chasing caiman like we did everything of everything that was the only time in two weeks that like fausto like raised his voice or showed any kind of concern was right when mike was about to stab this electric eel and uh, yeah. i think it yeah. would have just zapped the shit out of all four of us who were walking through this area hunting fish had he actually done it so i'm really glad that didn't happen what a fascinating creature, dude. It's almost, uh, speaking of aliens, well, we weren't, but we were before. <laughs> but, uh, but honestly, dude. We like, weren't at all. It just, uh, I mean, it, it, it just releases a, a fucking lightning bolt. First of all, I, I love this animal because its whole, uh, its whole way of capturing food is the laziest fucking thing I've ever heard. Yeah, it's It lays great. on the bottom of the ocean and then just comes up shock zaps some fish so that they stay still eats them and goes and lays back down like yeah it's fantastic energy it's great uh it's very lazy man. well it doesn't really conserve energy because it puts out all that energy no, when true. it needs to but that's you true. know that's why it conserves it the rest of the time it's, it's they're amazing creatures yeah. super cool Ugly, too. uh don't go swimming this summer in lakes people because these yeah. are everywhere apparently now <laughs> uh, and they hunt in packs <laughs> and uh, apparently humans are on the menu so so now we, yeah just steer clear of swimming yeah you gotta you gotta worry about the parasites up the nose and the electrical the electric eels shocking you to death 